we will discuss some important forceps that are used in surgery their parts their uses and what makes them different from other forceps the first forcep is artery forcep which has transverse serrations on its jaw it has a box joint and it has a ratchet lock it can be small medium or large in size and it can be straight or curved it is also known as clamp or hemostatic forceps it's used as hemostate it is used to clamp pedicles of spleen and kidney during surgery it is used to crush base of appendix during appendectomy the second forcep is coche forcep it also has transverse serration on its jaw a box joint and a ratchet what makes it different it has a wide tooth at its tips this teeth is not pointed it is a polygonal wide teeth due to the teeth it has better grip and this helps in it in holding tough structures like aponeurosis fascia it also holds strap muscles for the dwee and during thyroidectomy the third forcep is moynihan cholecystectomy forcep it also has a transverse serrations on its jaw box joint ratchet it has no teeth so it is different from coche forcep in that aspect what makes it different is that it has a curved jaw just because of this curved jaw it is moynihan cholecystectomy forcep it is using cholecystectomy so it clamps cystic duct and artery for ligation during cholecystectomy it also uses thyroidectomy to hook around superior pedicle for ligation next one is lehi cholecystectomy forcep it has a right angle jaw it is not curved it has a specific angle and we call this angle as right angle it has longitudinal serrations not transverse these two things make it different from everyone like monihan it is curved but it is right angled but different from monihan that has transverse serrations it has longitudinal serrations its uses are same as monihan next one is dissecting forcep these forces don't dissect they help in dissection by holding the tissues for scalpel these dissecting forceps as you can see in figure these look like tweezers they can have teeth or not teeth at their tips their jaws are serrated and their shanks outer surface can have specific designs that ease gripping they can have one or two stoppers on the inner surface of the shanks in this figure there is one stopper on the inner surface plain forceps holds delicate structures like peritoneum bowel blood vessels but the tooth forceps holds tough structures like skin subcutaneous tissues needles the next one is babcock's tissue forceps whenever we talk about a tissue forceps it means that the jaws don't touch each other completely they have some space between them that is why they are called tissue forceps because they will hold the tissue during surgery the babcock's tissue forceps has transverse serrations at its tips only tips the jaws are curved they don't close completely but leave a space This space looks like a ring. This ring space preserves the bulging structures like bowel. This ring space also allows them to hold tubular structures without crushing them like ureter or fallopian tubes. The next one is Ellis tissue holding forcep. It has many short teeth at its tips, not one or two, many. It has no serrations whatsoever. The jaws don't close completely but leave a space that is why it is a tissue holding forcep as we have discussed. Due to this teeth it is used to hold tough non bulging structures like fascia aponeurosis cystolithotomy forcep the blades are curved spoon shaped concave the inner surface of blades have fine spicules there is no ratchet there is a specific handle and there is a specific way to hold this forcep these spicules help in holding the stone firmly It is used for holding the stone and bringing it out of bladder during vesicolithotomy or cystolithotomy. That is why it is called cystolithotomy forcep. The next one is chattel forcep. It has long angulated beaks which are serrated. It does not have a ratchet. It is used to remove sterilized instruments from sterilization units so that instruments are not infected. It is only used for holding those instruments. Sponge holding forceps. The distal end is fenestrated. transverse serrated and flat it is used to clean the operating fields by holding the sponge that wipes that area 
it is not a tissue holding forcep so the jaws touch each other completely there is no space between the jaws it is also known as ram please sponge holding forcep this jardin scolidocol i thought me forcep because it is most commonly used in scolidocol i thought me to remove the stone that is why it is used in its name its body comes in varying degrees of curvature the jaws have a hole in the center it is used to remove stone from viscera like kidney bladder and most commonly from the common bile duct bulldogs a traumatic clamps they look like tweezers they are used to clamp blood vessels to stop their flow to a particular organ during surgery for example during coronary surgery where blood flow must be stopped towel clip it is a small clip forcep which has a ratchet you can see it is used to fix drape in operative field so that only the operative field is exposed to the environment the last one is a needle holder needle holder has criss cross serrations on its jaw that makes it different from everyone it has small jaw the jaw could be straight or curved it may have a groove on its inner surface this groove helps in better grip and it looks like a diamond if it is present in the needle holder it is made from stainless steel and is used to hold a suturing needle during surgical procedures